Hi everyone, Dr. Ginger Garner here. I have a little hip hack for you. It's more of a test, but it's also something that you could use for strength if you want. Um, if you, I've got my racing stripes on today. If you want to um, long sit or staff pose and yoga, whichever you want to identify it as, Bring the other knee into the, into the chest. Okay, first of all, you should have no pinching with that. If you have any pinching, it's possible that there's hip impingement, possible that there is a labral tear, and I'd get thee to your local pelvic and hip physical therapist specialist. Can't really be one or the other, you really need both when you're dealing with hip issues. Someone who's very good with the hip and orthopedics and someone who's good with the pelvic PT. So when you bring that, Knee into the chest first, no pinching, no pain. Second, can you actually lift up and back down? So shift and back down. So what are we looking for um, when we're doing that? Uh, let me show you on this side, is the ability to be able to activate this posterior chain. You're hopefully down training, what's going on with the psoas, right? If you need some snarky psoas hip hacks, then you can go to integrativelifestylemed.com, click on public classes or take the quiz, um, and then get to the snarky psoas workshop. But what we're doing is just testing this idea of a hip lock. Now, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can watch the locks video and see that. But the ability to be able to lift and lower, which requires those deep muscles to activate, pull you up, and bring you back down again. So the questions you're asking there are, you know, are the glutes firing? Is the obturator internus and some of the deep hip rotators uh, firing and hip stabilizers? In order for me to do that, I am activating uh, umbrella breathing, which is a transversus abdominis and pelvic floor assisted breath. So when you're doing that little, doing that little lift off, you're just testing for those things. Um, if you're limited in range, of course, this is a higher level uh, exercise. You can drop back to doing something like a one-legged bridge. So if I turn towards my yoga mat, you could do a one-legged bridge to see if you can get level. No snacky so as on here, just nice activation here. And shift that to the other side and back down. You should be able to, again, do that without too much so as. Otherwise, again, I'd, I'd recommend um, looking into the snarky so as workshop that I teach. Another way to integrate this, sorry about the, the droopy sweater. <laughs> is to make sure in neutral spine, so not too swayed, not flat, definitely not arching up like a cat. A one-legged uh, down dog prep, which is medical therapeutic yoga based. Spiral the arms forward and the shoulders backwards. That's a shoulder lock. And see if you can lift off towards a down dog and back down without breath holding without the psoas being snarky, and without the pelvis dipping. What it would look like is if you try to, and this is in my hip series on YouTube, if you wanna see what it looks like, um, when someone can't do that, I have a video of that. But when I do that, I should be able to lift and lower without this happening, right? Without the pelvis dropping. So test that on both sides. All the way up, smooth all the way down. I don't lose neutral. I don't hold my breath, right? My abs are kicking in appropriately. That means my abs aren't loafing or doming. I'm not using too much pectoralis or shrugging my shoulders up. Um, so I have fluid breath. I remain in neutral. The pelvis um, doesn't seesaw and swim. It remains in neutral. And I really feel this back here, turning on and doing what it's supposed to. 
So those are three little hip hacks you can try to see if the posterior chain, the back, everything in the back that should be firing to properly support the hip and the pelvic floor and the core um, is coming on. All right, check out my YouTube channel for more videos if you haven't already. And uh, until the next hip hack or pose of the week, have a good one.